I just removed a major mechanic from my game. This is a game where you have viruses that are attacking these blood cells in the middle here, and you're placing these immune cells in order to defend against the viruses. In the past, we had this mechanic where there were three colors that could be assigned to every virus and immune cell. These would basically do three things. So one, anytime a virus was near a matching color immune cell, it would be attracted to that immune cell. So you have to kind of think about which color immune cells you're buying in order, depending on which viruses are attacking you. Second thing, we have this mechanic where if you get three immune cells of the same type and color, you get a triple, which gives you like special, more powerful cells. We ended up removing that color requirement from the triple mechanic, but for a while, it allowed us to have the triples still be rare, even though we didn't have that many cells. Now we have a lot of cells, so we don't really need it. And then the third thing is there's we have these synergies between immune cells. There's like a wall that, that will gain a buff whenever a matching color immune cell is purchased. There's another cell that gives buffs for matching color immune cells. But ultimately, when we give the, gave the game to players, they didn't really like notice the colors at all. And I think that's just the fact that the colors, like it had to be the same color on viruses and immune cells, was like really holding back our ability to make the cells recognizable. It was still an interesting mechanic sometimes, but it wasn't really worth the extra complexity we decided. So we've removed it now. And as you can see now, all the cells, they have the same yellow color. We're probably gonna use more colors for them now that we have more available. We have not removed the magnetic effect that immune cells can have. So I can still, I'm gonna put this magnet cell behind this wall. When they enter this magnet radius, they're still, the magnet effect's still gonna work. And it, it's even crazier now in terms of like how much strength the magnet cells can pull in the viruses. This is another advantage actually of removing the feature. Now, since not every cell has it, we can do like crazy stuff with it. So there's that. And then also the, the cells that buff each other, we've kept that in too. So um, the way we're doing it right now, the vision is to have the walls and the chain cells and a few other things. These cells that don't really move much or do much during combat are the ones that can be buffed up in this way. And it's more consistent and easier to give them the buffs. And then that introduces like a, a decision about how am I going to use that extra health? So maybe chain cells, they don't do much on their own, but you can chain them to other things to put them in the paths of viruses. You can put a magnet behind your walls in order to make sure the viruses hit your walls. So yeah, we removed the mechanic, but I think despite, like sometimes less is more. It took us a long time though, to sort of emotionally accept that we were removing this thing that we put a lot of effort into.